Hello and welcome to a new video. So today's video is one of my favorite videos to make and I like making all kinds of videos but today is a studio vlog and it's basically just doing what I love to do which is exactly what I did today. I just sat at my desk with a cup of tea and I painted while watching some true crime which you cannot hear thankfully because I always mute <laughs> the footage but it was interesting <laughs> reliving it all when editing but yeah today is as I said a little studio vlog I wanted to make this video a bit more adventurous and like go on a walk together and find some things that we could paint but the weather was actually so bad and so autumnal it wasn't even like rain but it was so cold and like the wind was so strong <laughs> so i decided to just stay inside and find some inspiration on instagram and the internet and some old books i'm playing around as well and i decided to paint this little bleach mushroom in dutch it's called vroeg in gorgeous brood, I think it's called. Oh my god, I kind of forgot how to speak Dutch, but it basically means like early scroll bread. <laughs> like scroll. I don't know, it's a hard word to say when you're Dutch, I think. I don't know if it's just me, but anyway, that's what I was painting. And I think mushrooms are one of my favorite subjects to paint. I don't know why, but I just really like the kind of like texture that it's going on. And yeah i really like painting them so i decided that was what i was going to do today so even though i haven't been painting that much lately i feel like i finally got over my sort of like huge art block that was going on for like two years or something ever since i graduated I talked a lot about this and I'm not going to talk about it really now but I don't know I just I just decided that I was going to paint and I just painted without even like really thinking about it and it honestly was the best feeling ever I enjoy painting so much and I just feel so inspired with th this season going on and nature changing and yeah, I don't know, I cannot really put it into words, but I really love it. Also, what is painting? I was just using gouache, mainly just gouache, but also some acrylic gouache by Holbein, which I really like using, but I also really like using just normal gouache, especially because you can activate it again and again. And that's really how I like to paint. I don't know, I really was struggling with like the cap of the mushroom, if you will. I don't know what's the right word for it, but I just kept changing it. And it's so frustrating when I'm editing and I kept thinking, it looks good now, stop painting. And then I'm changing it all over again, which kept happening. But I do like the end result, so it turned out fine. But... <laughs> I think this painting could be a lot quicker if I wouldn't be <laughs> changing everything all over again and again. But yeah, painting isn't about being quick or I don't know, <laughs> I'm rambling. But yeah, anyway, I'm using gouache and I'm using my moleskin sketchbook, which I always use. I love it. <laughs> I really did enjoy this day. I think most people that follow me know by now, but 
I do have a part-time job and then my other time I spend on this business and sometimes when I have a day of work my days can be really busy like packing orders doing shop stuff all that jazz and it can be quite overwhelming but I had done all of that the day before like packing orders shipping them out replying to messages you know what I'm talking about maybe not but yeah and so the next day when I filmed this I just had nothing on my mind that I had to do and I could just like relax and paint and just I don't know it doesn't even really feel like working to be honest I don't know I still don't really know when it's work and when it's not because I just enjoy painting so much and it still feels like a hobby to be honest it doesn't feel like my job but it kind of is in a way which is crazy to think about I, I remember being 16 and like dreaming about selling art <laughs> and you know here and there I would sell a drawing because I would like, post my drawings on Facebook and Twitter and all all those platforms and sometimes someone would reply and be like hey do you do commissions I'd say yes and so I would draw like their pet or something and yeah <laughs> I don't know it always felt so special and I don't think I ever lost that feeling like I still get so happy when I see someone place an order in my Etsy shop like I honestly still cannot believe that this is what I'm doing now and I am hoping to do it full time eventually but also I don't really like my life is the way it is right now like having a part-time job really does help me with having like a rhythm and you know when I didn't have a part-time job because I did do my art business for a year full-time after I graduated I don't know I did find it really hard to find motivation to actually do things and I did do things but it's different now like when I have two days in a row of, of work like my part-time job I am so much more productive than I was when I was just spending all my time on my business because you know that's when you have to do things and that's what I really like about it so so I don't know even if I will be working a part-time job until 10 years from now I don't know then I think I'd still be happy but you know I don't know what the future brings and all I'm saying is that I'm just really happy right now and with how things are going I'm really curious about how this Christmas season is going to go I know a lot of people are planning all of these shop updates and things but, but I don't know like I know it's a great way to make money but it definitely isn't all about money for me and I just I simply don't want to make things simply for the money and I know that means I'm quite a bad business owner maybe but my mind just doesn't work like that like when I have to do things just for the money I do have a hard time creating I don't know if someone does recognize this but yeah it is the way it is and I'm okay with it like I did not start my art business to get rich <laughs> I just want to make something so I can keep doing what I love. So, yep. <laughs> we also did talk about this briefly, but I would love to do more knitting related things and I don't really know in what way. Like, I made some small ornaments, like I knit them and I have been thinking about putting them in my Etsy shop but then it also really scares me and so I don't but I'm also thinking like maybe I can design some um, some knitting patterns or like something along those lines yeah I don't really know what I'm doing or what I'm going to do but, but I do love that the things that are keeping me busy right now are also the things that keep me motivated and even though knitting really isn't a business right now or it isn't something that I'm making money of it does keep me really inspired and 
yeah that's something I'm grateful for I guess and maybe it will be something that I will start doing as a business as well I also did think about dyeing yarn as well I would really really love that I did buy some um, some dye and some yarn to dye last year and I only dyed yarn this one time but I just I loved it so much and I immediately was like oh my god I want to start a business in dyeing yarn <laughs> but then I started thinking about it a little bit more and how much money I had to spend before like starting the business and then I was like hmm maybe not now but in the future so <laughs> I don't know maybe one day um I would actually really love that but yeah so many things to do and to be creative because that's definitely something that I want to do yeah <laughs> I think I'm going to stop rambling because I can go on and on about this topic and again it's just rambling so so yeah I'm not going to bother you with <laughs> all of those things but yeah let me know if you're also like in the same boat maybe I know a lot of artists and illustrators get to this point where they're like okay and now because there's only so much time where you can do the same thing over and over again and I feel like I mean with some people that really works and they can keep going but with me I don't know some people can keep going and going with the same thing all over again and it doesn't really bore them but with me I feel like doing something new so I can keep doing the thing I have always been doing I guess um, which is making me happy I don't know if I'm making sense I'm really rambling now this is why I said I need to stop rambling so that's what I'm going to do now if you have watched all of this like this whole video then thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!